Hey guys, it's Ellen here, and we're in full swing in summertime. I thought it only fitting to paint a little summer cabin in the woods with a little lake behind it. Um, I go over this step by step. If you're on Patreon, you get the traceable. Um, I don't necessarily think you need a traceable, but if you want to use a traceable to help you guide it, go right ahead. I'm just going to show you how you use wet on wet, push all the color around, and make this cute little card, maybe like a postcard to somebody. Perfect summertime, kind of easy breezy landscape. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Um, also, don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorial is up. And uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. If you want to check out my Patreon, you can go check out my Patreon. In about a minute, there'll be a little boop up here, and you can click on that. It's a place people go and support my channel where I give ad-free videos, traceables, um, exclusive videos on Thursdays, and live stream once a month. So without further ado, let's get painting. All right, guys, I'm going to go over my supplies. I have a piece of um, Arsh 100% cotton cold pressed paper. This is like a five by seven piece. You know, you can make it as big and small as you like. Um, just playing around with making some small landscapes. Um, like I said, if you're a Patreon member, you can download the traceable. But basically, I drew, you know, a small little teeny house cabin, I'm sorry, ha cabin here, kind of like right here on towards the right. You see, it's just basically a little typical house kind of you get the triangle roof, you know, on the side here. And then I just kind of just drew in some trees. Kind of going like this and like a little road or path going towards the house. I'm sorry, the cabin. And back here I might have a little water. And this is all going to be green. So basically it's mostly painting with the greens and then going back in and just filling in the cabin. It could be brown, it could be red. I'm going to make mine red. Just playing around with wet on wet and color and just a loose landscape. So uh, I have my paints here, my paper towels. I tape this down with scotch tape on a piece of hard cardboard. I have my water jars. I'll be using Princeton 10 Neptune uh, and Princeton 8 and 4 long round brushes. Uh, basically we're just going to play around first mixing up some color, maybe like a little blue in the sky. I want you guys to get used to just doing stuff pretty loosely. So, I've got my nice pretty peacock blue right here. I'll just water this down a little bit. I might add a little ultramarine to that just to change it to blue color. See how I'm getting really wet, lots of water. So I do want to add a little blue to the sky. Just going like this, up here, a little bit over here. Just kind of like pushing all the paint around. Not too much, just a little bit. See, I just did like a little space in between. I'm gonna push it around up here, and that'll be that. Just a little blue, kind of down in here. Right? And I can put a little blue where I want that leak to go, kind of right here. And that's that. Now I'm gonna mix up some greens. I've got my cadmium yellow deep right here. Right, I can add that peacock blue to it. Get a nice pretty green. Let's make some dark ones. I always add Prussian blue. I got some Prussian blue up here. See that? And then I'll add some cadmium yellow deep to that. Get a deep dark green. A little burnt umber, a little brown in that green. Grab a little more yellow. There you go. You see that dark green? A more brown. So a couple of greens. And this one's just yellow here. I'm going to add a little. It's like a nice bright, limey kind of green. Limey. It's got a bunch of bright greens in there. All right. So we're going to just play playing around with um, washing in some greens for like the summer kind of trees. And then we're putting, putting the trees in a dark tones, dark browns almost like blackish tones. So I've got this really loose light green. We'll start off with that one. I'll get a little bit looser. There we go. And basically I'm just going to be tapping in the color. It's kind of like this. See, taking this big old brush, kind of tapping the color. Just making these little marks so it looks like trees 
blending in over here. Don't be afraid, just keep pushing the paint around up in here, right? Because we're in the woods. We're in the woods. We're just moving this paint around. We're going to be adding some darker tones to it, too. So I've got this nice bright green. Put this nice bright green on the cabin. Now, if you want to put um, masking fluid where the cabin is, if you're afraid to paint over it, but you don't have to. I'm just going to paint around it. Again, it's got this bright green color. Just kind of putting that color right in here, around by the cabin, leaving some space. You only leaving these white spaces. Same thing up over in here, I'm adding the color. While this is still damp, we're going to start blending in some other color. See, now we're going to take that darker green. Just kind of going to bleed that. Just like that. You can grab some Prussian blue. Kind of tap that in there too. All right? We, excuse me. We're going to add some more green up over here on the side that we didn't put here. Still leaving some white. You want to leave some white spaces. even like splatter some bit. Careful not to splatter too much because you don't want it everywhere. Again, gives that real loose look. Get that dark green. Splattering some of it. I'm going in and I'm adding the brown and some Prussian blue in here. Just kind of tap, you see I'm just tapping the paint around. Do you want to darken some of these areas here? I added some brown and some deep blue. And you can go back in, add that little lighter color on top. We're going to concentrate some of the color over in here though. Some blue. You know, because you're in the woods. And then we're going to be adding some of these deeper greens. See? A little more concentrated. So, like, there's less water. See, I'm adding less water. Grabbing some yellow. If it's really wet, it's going to bleed like this. We don't want to do that. Just gonna tap that color a little bit. See, getting darker. We do want to darken some of these areas here. Right. I do want to go back in and add some more light green down here. Can be trees there. If you want to make it right against the cabin, just like that. Go and add some brown. See, we're just kind of just pushing around this color here. Brush and blue. So you got the darker tones that are on there. And you can go back in and add some, like I said, lighter tones. Just kind of keep tapping that around. Because, you know, in the woods, you're going to see really deep, dark, you know, where in the, in the woods and then some where the sun's hitting it on the top a little bit lighter. Like this part here, you can splatter some of this up here. It helps you help splatter on Too. Some dark ones up here. Dark green. We're having fun with this. We're splattering, moving paint around. 
Now down in this woodsy area, it's gonna be a mixture of browns and greens. So go back and add that lime green, a little brown to that. Mixing up some pretty greens. So you can just wash in some pretty green right here. I'm gonna make a little more Kelly green, add that blue to it, the peacock blue. All right, so we're just adding in some green here. Also wash. Just loosely put that in there. And around here. I'm gonna add some darker green over in here. You know, this is like the woodsy area. A little brown. I'm gonna water down some brown, which is burnt umber. And put this in the little road here. Well, I don't know if it's a road, but more of a pathway. Just decided to put that in there. And I'll add some green next to it. Again, I'm going to add some more green. I'm just going over in here. The trees are going to just go in and out. Maybe a little white. going to be adding some more dark green and more green up in here all right at this point um, even though it's wet, really fairly wet you know I do want to go in here and fix some more greens up in this way so I'm adding in some more light green up here just kind of kind of moving this around here see that little taps that bright yellow green. Get the sun is hitting that section of the green. Put some up here too. Really bright yellow green. And down in here. There's a, there's a method to this madness. <laughs> I know this looks like sporadic greens everywhere. So now we're gonna grab my Princeton. I could do my Princeton eight or the four. Um, we're gonna mix the burnt umber. If you have a black, use that. I'm gonna use some black gouache of mine. And get this really deep brown. And you can play around with having the two browns. So I have the burnt umber just without the gouache by itself. And like I said, we had the trees in here. Now it should be a little concentrated. It might bleed a little too much. So we can just try and play around with it and see how much it bleeds. And it's bleeding bare amount. So you might want to wait till it's a little more dry. So it's very wet. So it's bleeding like this and we don't want to do that. So we're going to have to wait till it's a little drier. Meanwhile, we could take, because it's still damp, the credit card and scrape some trees up behind the cabin. See? Just like that. And then we'll let that dry and then we're going to come in and add our tree trees. So while this is still wet because we can't put in the trees here, see this little mess? I'll just go fix it with some green. Tap, 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 tap. You won't even know it. I'm going to put in some, a little bit of darker green up here on the cabin. Maybe add a little more yellow to that. Really bright, sunshiny color green. I'm just kind of wiggling the brush, you see? Dry brushing it over here, adding the same color. And then you can take some of the browns to mix up. Go back in here. And a little deep brown. Is it going to be a tree here and it's going to be a shadows coming in? Like I said, we want to make sure that we put some browns in here too, kind of just mix them in. Some greens in here. You know, just putting a lot of greens, we're keeping that same house visible. See, outlined around the house, the cabin. I'm sorry. 
And like I said, you can add some deeper color greens just right around here. Okay, so we're going to let this dry. We're going to let this dry and come back. Okay, once everything's dry, we can go back in and add the trees. We'll have the Princeton 8 long round. I'll grab my brush. So I've got the burnt umber and I've got it mixed with some black wash and I have burnt umber without any black wash over here. And basically, you know, you're just going to put in some trees. Now I have the sketch, like I said, in my Patreon, but you know, you can just take it and finagle this. You're just making some green, I mean, brown trees, kind of bending them. You're going to have it detached in certain areas. See how I just did, there's no thing here because what's going to happen is that the tree is supposed to be covering up the bush, like the leaves, you see? So you're having it attached here, separate here, like a break in it, and then bending it and doing the same thing out this way. If you want it even smaller, you can just grab the Princeton 4, you know, even teenier branches. Again, they kind of break because they're like you, supposedly the, the the amount of leaves foliage is covering it. That's the premise of it all. So you can put another tree kind of bending in here, kind of peeking through on the side. There's no rhyme and reason how many trees you can have. You can have a gazillion. And then we're going to put a few, like, coming down here, just going straight up along where you scraped it. Just like that. See? Wherever you scraped it. Put in as many trees as you feel like, you know. I'm going to put in just a few up in here. Branching off again, like I showed you. And I could even put one kind of in front of the the cabin and branching off. And then we can always add more leaves too. But it's good to have just throw in some greenery, like I showed you, just kind of moving it around. And then you go back in and replace all your trees, have one bending, like I showed you here. And again, you break that line because it's supposed to be like the trees the foliage is breaking through so you can't see all the parts of the tree put the tree here it's nice big dark trees one peeking through bending out this way covering the front of that one you can have some of the branches way up here little teeny thick ones Really teeny branches. <laughs> I want you guys to have fun with this. You can even have another one peeking way up here. Now we didn't have foliage up here, but we can always add it. So you can add these things as you go along. It's intuitive painting. Right? I'm going to add some little ones back here. Bending. I like this bending this way that way kind of fun and like I said you can add some more foliage so get this black brown color grounded here and then I'm going to add some deeper color green so now that we've got the deeper color trees we could take the darker greens and kind of make those shadows from the trees. You know, where it's hitting the ground. See that? You know, a little black. Go 
making a lot of shadows. Deep color back here. Now it's pretty white in here. I might want to fix that. I'm putting the shadow across the road. Now the across the road, since the road is brown, you would take a deeper brown color. Kind of do that shadow. And in here, I've got the screens. We can add some more medium greens. Grabbing some yellow, some peacock blue. Taking my brush, kind of holding it on its side, just going back and forth like this. That dry brush look. And you can go in here and fill in the trees. You can water it down too if you want to. I'll add more water to it. Just kind of push this paint around in these areas. It would be more concentrated foliage because it's in the woods and you would see less white. So you can kind of just fill that in. Get some Prussian blue going to fill in here. That would be the deep part of the woods. I particularly don't like the woods. <laughs> I don't like bugs. I mean, I don't mind bees butterflies, but I don't like bug bugs. So just keep it really loose and light. Grab some more of this light green. I'm just going to put a little foliage up in here. Keep it really light again, showing more white. I then go back in here and add some more color. Bright green in here. See, I'm just kind of tapping it and moving the paintbrush around. Same thing back here. Not really being fussy. All right, now we're going to go and just put our little cabin. It's going to make it red. I'm going to add magenta. I like to make my red, so I have magenta and the cadmium yellow deep. You get a nice orangey red. Right? And we'll add a little brown to that if you want to. So I've got this nice pretty red. What I'm going to do is going to put the the color down first, like a solid color. The door and the window is going to be brown, so if you go right over it, it's not going to matter. The roof will be like a black brown. So I'm just putting this color in. So I'm washing the color in. The basic color. And then when that dries, I can go in and add the depth of the color. The roof could be deep brown brownish black, so I can put that in, or just brown, I add my, I think it's a little too dark, so I'm going to take up some of that black and make it brown. Lift up some of that color, it was a little too harsh. Okay, got the brown, much better. All right, so we're going to let that dry and come back and we're going to start filling in that all in. So it's dry. It's dry, but feel like, feel like light pinky kind of tones. And we can take a darker brown and do the trim of the cabin. Right? Do the roof. Just make these little lines with the number four brush going across. And then we can do the brown door. In the window. I'm just painting this really loose, right? Then we still have this red. I'm gonna add a little more magenta and yellow. So it's deep. So we can just do these like lines going across. Kind of break them up. So it looks more like a cabin, you know? And same thing here on the side. Going across. The front would probably be, and the side would be a little bit darker. So I'm going to add a little brown to that. See that? Little lines. And then a little darker on this side. So a little brown, just like this, on this side. You can get the door a little bit darker. 
in the trim much darker it's like the cabin in the woods I want to keep it fairly bright though and get too dark. Get that nice pretty red. Just these little lines indicates that it's like, you know, one of those cabins. And we could put little details down in here. Um, like I said, some more dark greens. It's kind of like the shadows from the trees. Add a little black in that back here. Finish all your little details. Add some more green in here. I'm doing like a dry brush technique. Just kind of going across like this. And there's white in here. If you don't really want the white, grab some of this bright yellow or green. Kind of swish it across. Just like so. And we got a little cabin in the woods. <laughs> you could take some of the yellow too, the yellow green, and kind of like push it around in here too just to brighten up some of that green if you think it looks too dark. Just move it around. Add a little brightness to that. I don't know if I want it so dark next to the cabin. I'm standing up to see if I like it. It's always good to do that. I feel like my door is a little crooked. So I'll just fix that. And I'm adding a little dark color on the side. And a little dark up here. Don't get so bogged down with the details on that. You know, you can add a little lines here. And a little bit shadow on the roof and the trees. But really just really simple. You can actually go in to these areas right here with a little brush and splatter some paint too. Give it a little more fun. Don't be shy to do that around here. Or even back over in here. This gives it a little more depth. Right? If you really want to be a stickler and put like little teeny leaves, you can take a little brush and tap around. And do all these little teeny leaves. But don't make yourself crazy. Because you could make yourself crazy. <laughs> Putting all the little leaves. This is supposed to be a fun, like, summer, you know, in the woods cabin. I think I might have made the door a little too dark. So I can lift up some of the paint with the brush. And then just tap it. See that? And then go back in and add the little gray color. Don't want to make everything so harsh. And then you can add details. Um, lines going down the door. Something like that. And you can add the window. Take some white gouache. Add some white gouache here. Or if you have a white gel pen. Because it might be easier to control that than using a tiny brush. And you can put the little window panes in. Little door. And you can add some white highlights. Just like that. Now if the window panes seem too bright and little highlights into here so that you can see the cabin a little better. It's just going to help it a little more. If you felt like it got too dark, you can have a little white like that. Then it becomes cute again. 
see it looks a little too bright it will dry a little lighter you could go in and add a little gray to that if it seems too bright but the gouache is good it's always nice to have something like that close by and there's our cabin in the woods so let's see how it looks Actually, I think I'm going to add a little more shadowing of the brown in here. I'm going to grab a little more brown in the road. Just bleed a little more over here. A little more dark green. the trees all right pretty simple let's remove let's see what we have remove our tape. and we have our little cabin in the woods <laughs> little cabin in the woods like I said you can fix the um, the cabin, make it a little brighter, add a little white accent to punch up the door a little bit. You know, if it seems too dark, can always fix that. And I would make the side a little bit darker too, so I might add a little, a little more dark red on this side. See, and then you can add those lines in again. And it's in the shadow. Yeah. See? Kind of looks like it's in the lake back here, right? We're in the deep, dark woods. <laughs> kind of fun. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Um, like I said, Patreon, you can just download the traceable. But really, guys, just have fun. Like, See how I just kind of pushed around color and paint? And then you make the little trees the cabin in the woods just want you to have fun if you want to go back in with the dark colors or the light colors and your brushes and just paint little tiny leaves for details go ahead do do that but in the beginning you just kind of push around color get used to doing things like that so that it becomes second nature and looser and more fun and not so intense you know when you're working that's that so thank you guys for stopping by have a great day and take care